Today in this video, we are going to build an email sending application using tkinter and Python. So of course Python. So let's get started. Myself Nish Yogi and you're watching Techie Programmer. So I just want to show you the demo, how it works and how it looks. So this is how or what we are going to build today. Then moving on to the code. Let me just fire up my PyCharm. Okay, uh, first of all, let me go to show you the UI.mail. So this is what we are going to, like this is the code that we are going to use. And I'll just explain you and we'll go uh, walk through this. Uh, if we start coding this, it would take a video around 15 minutes. I just want you to make sure you understand this, that's it. So what we are going to do is, uh, first of all, in order to build this application, uh, you need to turn on your Gmail's less secure app setting. So for that, first what you need to do is go to your Gmail account. Uh, let me just show you from beginning. Okay, just let me take my new tab. Uh, you just need to type as Google accounts. Coming here, you can click on Google accounts. It will take you to this uh, and you can just switch like switch our gmail ids here uh, using this tab and i'm going to send the message or email using this particular email id so what i'm going to do is go to the security section coming down scrolling down 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 what you can do is here you can see a less secure app access click on this and turn this on it, uh, it should be off Usually, then you can just turn this on. Once done with this, uh, what you need to do is go to the code here. Okay, you can just copy out the code here. That's around 35 lines of code. Then what I'm going to do is, you just need to create a new file called cred.py, uh, where what you're going to do is uh, just write your Gmail ID with which you are going to send the mail and the password associated with that particular gmail so i will just change my password and save the file i have just so changed my particular credentials there and i have saved the file so what i'll do is just import that stuff import scred and what i'm going to do is just come down here and say scred dot sender and cred dot password and let me just rename it here also okay cred dot yep so this is the final code let me just explain you what happens here we are going to use smtb lib in order to send the mail and then what I've done is I have created a function to send the mail which takes in receiver and like receiver ID or the Gmail ID and the message what you're going to send. So what we're going to do is uh, from SMTP from SMTP capital we're going to choose the server that is we are going to send via Gmail so smtp.gmail.com and support is 587 you just need to fill this then we are going to start a TTLS once done with that, we are going to log in with our credentials. So what I'm going to do is from this cred, I'm taking the sender, that is my mail ID. Okay, and then we are going to use the password, cred.password. Okay, so you just make sure you have written your password. I have just written password, it's not my password actually. So you just need to write your password there. So what we can do is next, uh, we need to send a mail to the sender, from sender, to the receiver and along with a message okay and then once the message has been sent we are going to quit the server that's it so what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to make use of tkinter in order to build the gui so let me just create a root window that i can do it by root equals t capital k and parenthesis then i'm going to set the geometry of that that is 500 x 400 that is 500 is the height and 400 is the width then next we are going to configure the background color i have already uh, have this hex code here background you can just keep it same or you can just change according to your color or whatever you like 
then what i'm going to do is set the root title this is uh, something this is the like we have this is exam underscore ui dot mail dot file this is uh the title so you can just write anything here then i'm going to there are going to be three labels let me just now run this so that i can show you okay uh, so this is the label number one this is the send to label number two and third the message is the label number three this is the entry box and this is a text box and this is a send button let me just go back to the code so what i'm going to do is send an email sender send to and message these three are going to be our labels and i have placed them using a place method here uh, like here it goes like x direction and y direction so i have placed it at x equals to 120 and y equals to 10 so based on the values you put here the location of your widgets changes so i have like uh, it's just a trial and error method wherein i try placing it on 100 200 and averaging them taking the mean and getting at the exact place i wanted so this is how it works so what i've done is uh, created a label uh, which we need to place it in root comma then text equals to email sender then font size is 40 here and the print fg stands for foreground pg stands for background so i have set it as fgbg so it is just like fg equals to fg bg equals to bg and we are going to use place method to place the widgets so i have created the three labels here after that once that is done what I'm going to do is uh, create an entry box. So entry box, I will just write it as receiver name because there we are going to type the receiver's name. This here, for example, if I want to send this mail to Techie Programmer, so I will just write it as Techie Programmer 16 at gmail.com. So this, whatever, when I enter this, so this stands for this particular stuff here receive name okay so this i'm going to place it at 120 comma 70 so then i'm going to write the message message equals to text this is the message this is the message box so we are using the text widget here and root height equals 10 width equals 30 this is just the size you can just vary this height equals 10 it means you can just fit 10 lines of uh, text here and width is equals to 30 it means 30 characters in a single row so i guess that's pretty enough uh, then once done with the text box we are going to place these both that is the entry box and the text box and here we have a button this is the send button so what i'll do is a button is placed in root where text is equals equals send then font is equals this is a single colon space single colon okay uh, some of my user had used double quotes a single directly it's not a double quote it's a single quote comma space single quote here even here okay or else you can just uh, write double quotes comma double quotes space double quotes then this is the size that is 20 then fg equals fg this is the foreground color that we have set then background color and then what we are going to do is command command is something that is that function is called when we press that particular button so we are going to call this send mail function when we press the send button so what i'll do is lambda send mail and we are going to pass the receiver mail so what i'll do is from receiver underscore mail dot get it gets the string that we have passed and here uh, message dot get what it does is message is a text box so we want the data from zero index up to the end so if you have added any space that will be counted here and message dot get from zero, one index to the end and that will be passed and we are going to place it at x is equals to 120 and y is equals to 330 this is just an trial and error method once done we are going to make sure the application remains on the screen for a while until and unless we hit this cross button here yep this one so that's it let me just test this code uh, this is a pretty 41 line of code i guess that is really easy let me just run this so that you can see a live demo again okay so there was a error with my password let me just rerun this file let me just stop the current execution here and yep 
let me just type T E C H I E P R O G R A M M E R 16 at G mail dot com then this is the mail sent using SMTP I have my mail here open okay so here you can see this is a mail sent using SMTP so we have were successfully able to send a mail using our tkinter application so this is how it works that's it for today for more videos uh, do like share and subscribe and if you have any topic suggestion you can just comment down and let me just try to do that project so see you in the next video